Hi again, it's Jason from Fraser Valley Rose Farm and this busy little guy you'll see working away behind me here is the Koal M28E robot lawnmower and he and I are going to get along good because he's going to save me a lot of work around the garden. So if you've seen these robot lawnmowers before, you may have uh, had some doubts about the fact that they need a sensor wire to go around the perimeter of the defined area. This one does away with all that. It's newer technology that uses satellite guidance real time real high tech and it has also a laser radar in it that helps it to avoid obstacles. That combination means that you don't have to have that sensor wire around the outside. You don't have to take the extra time to install it. You don't have to take the risk that it's going to break and that you'll have to go out and repair it later. It's actually smarter than the average robot lawnmower in that some of the older ones that have that sensor wire just sort of wander around bumping into things like a Roomba taking random paths around and hopefully they catch everything. This one here, once you've walked it around the outside perimeter and defined its obstacles and defined its area, it actually does intelligent route planning. So it goes in straight lines through the garden, uh, taking care of all of the spaces, but without having to cover them over and over again or just bounce around randomly. So it's really smart that way. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is show you what it takes on the app to define those areas fairly easy and talk about some of the other features of the mower. Don't mind me, I'm just taking my robot for a walk. So the way this works is I have to use my app like a remote control and then walk the mower into the area where I want it to mow and then map it out for the mower. So what I have to do is walk the mower with its right edge against the outside of the boundary that I'm using. And it can obviously just be at any artificial boundary in your yard. I'm using this brick edge here to define this edge. So what I'm doing now on the map is I'm defining an obstacle, which is this garden bed over here. And so I'm gonna capture a little picture of what I'm doing on the phone here so you can see it but it's already mapped the outer boundary and now I'm just excluding this area from where it's going to mow. I can see on the little map in the app that it's working its way in straight lines across the path here. But you know what? I want to test its obstacle avoidance. So let's see if I can mess with it a little bit. And there you go. Just replans a new route around the obstacle. Uh, without missing a lot of mowing space either. It goes right back onto the existing path and just plans a way around. We're on three acres of property, so I already have a zero turn mower with a 54 inch deck to help me get through the large areas quickly. And that still makes an awful lot of sense. But where I like this little mower is for those spots that are hard for me to get to, like that rose garden I showed you, just getting in there between the arbors is quite difficult for this mower, if not impossible. But this guy took it like a little champ. If you look at the landscape behind me, here's another situation where it's gonna be fantastic is because there's a bit of a slope leading up to that greenhouse there. I'm not sure if you can see it from this shot, but as it gets closer there, I'll get you a closer in view of the little robot tackling quite a, an intense slope with no problem at all. Uh, and I have to say, it is quite scary when you tackle it on the big mower like this. Now let's talk about its coverage and range because it's really rated for something like one acre of, uh, of space. And I'm on three acres here, so it can take care of a substantial bit of that smaller area mowing that this guy would have trouble with. 
It works for two hours on a charge. It has a 100 watt uh, motor. And uh, when it runs out of charge, it will very smartly return to the base station itself, charge back up, and then just resume the job where it left off. It has a map inside of it that has mapped this in straight lines. And I'll show you a map that it's working on right now. But it, uh, it runs in straight lines and where it leaves off, it'll just pick up at that same spot and do the rest of it. It has uh, a smart feature called a uh, edge mowing which basically just means it maps out the whole area and the final bit that it does is it does one more run around the edge just to make sure you have a clean presentation speaking of smart features if it's raining it will detect that and return to the base station and if it is stolen or leaves the the working area uh, you can track it down using its GPS or satellite functions I should say a word about the app that runs this whole thing once you get used to the idea of training the mower by walking it around and defining the obstacles it is pretty easy to work with and it has all the options you can work with to customize what the mower does you can customize the mowing height you can customize the speed you can give it a different rotations per minute I'm not sure you'd want to change everything in here at least not without knowing what it does but it does give you tons of options and you can set a schedule in here that tells it what hours you want the mower and what you don't want to use it for mowing literally you could set this thing to run for 24 hours a day and just rotate through the sections that you've defined or you can say no I don't want it out on certain days or uh, on, even during the day if you want to so you can customize it completely well that should pretty much do it for this review on the Koal M28e robot lawnmower I have to say that it was very quick out of the box set down that base station put the mower on sync it in the app and then start mapping and uh, mapping was the hardest thing to learn of the whole business but frankly so much easier than going around and installing a, a border wire or boundary wire and with the app I could delete a map add an obstacle edit the maps it was fantastic that way very flexible I've tried it out in different areas of the yard now I have to say this is not my fast lawn growing season in the spring it would be growing a lot faster and that's when this thing will be put to its true test if it can manage even a third of this property for me it'll save me a day on the mower a week and that will be a huge time saving so I'm looking forward to seeing how it holds up to that if you have any questions on this feel free to drop those down into the comments below the video I can answer you on stats or specs of the product and go from there thanks so much for watching